So I've been getting quite the few um, requests or like just messages, people asking me how I set up my uh, DJ equipment. So um, I'm gonna do a video showing you how to set up virtual DJ with um, two CD players, a mixer, and a laptop using virtual DJ. But at the end of this video, I'm also gonna tell you why you shouldn't use virtual DJ. Not completely, but in certain cases. All right, so if you wanna start using your laptop when DJing, these are the basic things you're gonna need. These are like the bare necessities. Obviously, you're gonna need CD players and a mixer. That should be what you already have. But to start using Virtual DJ, you're going to need two things, or three things. You're going to need Virtual DJ, a laptop, and something to hook Virtual DJ up to your um, CD players and your mixer. Okay, so after you have your CD players and your mixer and your laptop, the most important thing that you're going to need is one of these. This is called... In Google, if you search this, these are pretty much called external USB sound cards. Not to be confused with Firewire sound cards, which are primarily used for like just audio recording in general. These can be used for audio recording, but they're much more marketed towards DJs who want to use virtual DJ, Tractor, things of that nature. Um, so what I'm going to point out with this, this is called the American Audio VersaPort. Now, when I'm going to point out with that, when you're looking for something like this, you have to be very specific in what you're looking for. So, notice it has, on either side, it has four RCA inputs, two pairs of stereo RCA inputs on each side. Two pairs. Okay. So, what this means is that, you see how it says input, and then over here it says output it's upside down but that's what it says um, so what that means is for input these each pair is like one of your decks so this is deck one this is tech deck two and for output each pair is like a channel that goes in your mixer so this would be mixer channel one mixer channel two so what you have to look for is basically these four stereo pairs two in and two out now this is pretty much that's pretty much the most important thing you're going to need to know when picking one of these you can get one that only ha that's what i would call half of this behringer makes one i forget what it's called but it's uh, it's like this but it only has uh one uh, pair of inputs and one pair of outputs and i believe i'm not sure don't quote me you can use two of those and run it with virtual DJ you're gonna need two um, USB inputs on your computer um, and if you only have two just be wary that you might not be able to plug in like an uh, an external hard drive or anything so but yes if you're looking for one of these and you come across something online and it's not the American Audio Versa support or not a Maya 44 which will also work it's the same it's just laid out different what you're gonna wanna do is reference this because this is the big boy this is definitely what you want this is ultimately what you want and hopefully at some point in your career you're gonna be shooting for this this is a rain SL2 box now notice it has the same it has two pairs of stereo inputs and it's even called left deck right deck and two pairs of stereo outputs now that is exactly what you want and notice this is shockingly similar to this so similar in fact one might say they're laid out the same way coincidence I think not alright so you're gonna want something of that nature banging stuff over here alright so then obviously you're gonna need it to have a USB cord so that you can attach it to the computer okay so now that you've got your external USB sound card with uh, two stereo inputs and two stereo outputs you're gonna take the normal RCA from your CD deck and you're gonna put it into the input jack of your sound card so this this part is fairly simple but I'll still explain um, you'll notice red goes into the red and white goes into the white 
it's hard to grasp for some people, but I mean, you know, others get it like that. But, um, you know, if you're not one of those, it's understandable. Um, but I am judging you. But, yes, okay, so after you've got that input, I have my left deck, deck on input one, and I'm going to take my right deck output and put it into input one. So again, to reiterate, red into red, white into white. But also, these are coming, these are the outputs from your CD players. So the cord that goes from your CD player goes into the input of your sound card. Now this one has a handy little um, line phono toggle, so you're going to want to put it on line, so that's going to be popped out. Okay. So now, you take the cord coming from the channels of your mixer so now it says output because input means it's taking the time code the small sound of the time code putting it in here running it through virtual DJ in the laptop and then um, it's bringing it back in here and then it's going to output it through these outputs into your mixer so red into red, white into white. This is the left side of my mixer so that they'll make match up, all right? And same for the other side. Now you're going to now that you have all this done, you're going to want to place this in a spot that won't get electrical interference, i.e. being somewhere that you have the least amount of power wires possible. So when I used to run this, I would Take it like so, just kind of grab all these cords, and then put it like right up there. Nice where, you know, no power cords can touch it, all the power cords are running back. You know, it leaves a little tangle, but it's better than having interference. 